Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged in a couple weeks. I was stupid and I forgot to pack my vlogging camera and I went out of town for like eight days. It just slipped my mind. I would have liked to vlog probably when I was home and stuff like that, but I just went to Ohio because that's where Michael, my boyfriend, lives. You guys sometimes like ask about him, why he's not in vlogs and stuff. We are long distance, so um, I know him from home. Like we basically went to middle and high school together and everything, and that's how I know him from my hometown, but he goes to college in Ohio. We get to see each other a lot. <laughs> um, I'll get to see him. He's coming to LA to visit in a few weeks, but yeah, just really quickly wanted to like say that for those of you guys that are like, boyfriend, like why isn't he in your videos and stuff? Um, because he doesn't live here. So I went to Ohio to visit with him, and then I went to Atlanta to visit with my family for a few days. So that's where I was like recently I got back on Thursday now. It's Monday. So um, yeah, this weekend was really fun It was Megan's birthday on Thursday. So we had a surprise dinner that I planned for her It was a successful surprise. So I'm really happy that that worked out. So that was like the day I got back and then um, This weekend was just really fun. I was just with my friends a lot and stuff like that and now it's Monday and I'm excited about this week I'm just like not stressed about anything at the current like time I'm just really like feeling good about the things that I'm doing and like everything I don't know I'm just in like a good life state and mood and I hope that you guys are doing good yeah I'm gonna try to get back on my two vlogs a week because I feel like that's like something that I want to be doing and that's good and all that stuff and I wanted to let you guys know cuz I haven't even announced this and it snuck up on me I've known about this for so long but I am having an LA meetup this Friday and it's completely free to attend which is really cool um, it's gonna be at FITM the LA campus which is the campus that I attend I'm gonna put all of the info in the description box because if you do want to come there's a little RSVP link so RSVP if you're going to be coming like I said it's completely free it's at the FITM LA campus at 10 30 a.m. this Friday I know I'm so late with announcing it you guys I really apologize I just I haven't been vlogging like I said for the past like two weeks or so so I kept like forgetting to announce it which is just like annoying so I'm announcing it now other than that uh, today I'm about to go hang out with Ollie it's like I've had a good day I've just like gotten a couple things done I was just had a little meeting at FITM actually about the meetup and then I'm doing a panel after the meetup um, so if any of you guys happen to be attending the FITM open house on this Friday April 1st I'm going to be doing the alumni panel after my meet and greet and then I'm going to be at the 8:30 debut show later that night with Megan so yeah if any of you guys are going to that one then um, yeah Megan and I are gonna be there so this has been a really long intro so um, me and Ollie are gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants it's called the kitchen in uh, Silver Lake. We're gonna go there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Me and Ollie are at the kitchen now, and we both just got like our favorite meal. Seared chicken. It comes with a little side of mash. Fuck me up. And then this is called like, how do you pronounce like succotash or succotash? Who knows? But it's like corn and like carrots and stuff. Ollie got the fried chicken, which is like their specialty. It comes on the same little sides. He gets it every time. How is it? Incredible. And we have a little beaker of some rose. We're splitting. Look, doesn't this look like a literal science class beaker? Like that you identify in your lab quiz on the first week of school. Okay, so we just got back from dinner and we're here with little Squirtle. Squirtle and Ollie get along so good. He gets to so excited to see him. He smells our chicken that we were eating. I'm so full. Like Squirtle's pushing on my stomach and I'm like ridiculously full. Ollie came up because I got him this little thing. Amazing. It's like a, it's basically like a crystal encyclopedia on this side. And Wait, then yeah, this is like, talks about the chakras and other stuff. I don't know, I found this at this store called Crystal Blue and Little Five Points and I got one for you. 
me and my sister. So here you go. So don't. I just thought it was like a good, a good little thing. And I'm gonna take Squirt out on a little walk. Walk Ollie out. And then I'm probably gonna take a nap, honestly, because I'm like really tired for some reason. Me after <laughs> Didn't have any caffeine today. <laughs> I got some new vinyl the other day. By the way, thank you guys on my vlog that I talked about my record player for correcting me because I had no idea that vinyl was the plural for vinyl. <laughs> um, now I know. It just feels funny to me to say, but I'm sure I'll get used to it instead of saying vinyls, because that is not right. So when I was home in Atlanta, actually when I got those chakra charts that I was just showing you guys, I went to this record store, I can't remember what it was called, but it was at Little Five Points, and I got three new vinyl. So I got Pretty Lights, A Color Map of the Sun. I, I think I'm gonna play this one right now, because I'm pretty excited about it. And then I got my favorite Lana Del Rey album, which is Born to Die. This is just my favorite era, personally, of Lana Del Rey. This is when I fell in love with her music. And then I found Bass Nectar. I think this one is Time Stretch. Everything you feel, I can feel too. Life is the most precious thing we can lose with the bass drop symbol right there. And then it has... Oh no, it's not time stretch. What the hell am I saying? It's va va boom. Va va boom, enter the room. So I'm gonna bump these, do some cleaning. Roomba is going around. You can hear him. Hello guys, so since I got home from dinner, I have been cleaning and doing laundry and unpacking from my trip. So I am finished, it took me like four hours. I'm really happy that I'm done. Place looks really good. Everything's basically clean. I had a party this weekend for Megan and so things got messy so I was just cleaning up. Yeah, um, it's looking good. I basically had just a ton of laundry and I put it all away and then I like switched my sheets out and I washed them today and remade my naked bed <laughs> and I gotta put my um, fuzzy blanket that goes on top on but Squirtle is looking so comfy there so I don't want to move him so we'll just do that part later. We vlogged like half of today so um, I will definitely be vlogging another day this week. Now that I'm done I'm just gonna chill out and watch some Netflix to end my day and I don't know what I'm gonna watch. I need to start a new show because I just finished season four of House of Cards and it was absolutely my favorite season by far. It was so juicy and dramatic and really just pulled me in the whole time so I love house of cards oh my gosh it was such a good season and now i have to wait for like probably like a year or something or maybe it won't be that long i don't know how long but yeah let me know if any of you guys watch it in the comments down below and i need something new to start and i kind of want like a light show that's like easy to watch um so my sister said i should start watching broad city so I'm probably gonna start watching that. I don't know if I'll start tonight, but we'll see. My back is itchy, do you guys ever? Okay, whenever I like get an itch, a scratchy on my back and I itch it, it like, it's only on my back that this happens. It like continues. I feel like me initially scratching it makes it just like continue to itch for like, until I completely like don't let myself scratch it anymore. One more thing that I'm thinking of right now because I just realized that I was doing it is looking at the viewfinder and versus like sometimes looking at the lens. And um, I get comments about this and sometimes people honestly get like really upset about this. And I just wanna like quickly say that I apologize that I know I do that a lot and that I do that sometimes and it's not something that I even think about or can help it's like with this camera it has a flip up screen so it's like you can see the frame so i see what i'm filming right now and i always just like to make sure that the lighting is good that it's focused on my face things like that and that i'm not like chopping off you know like my eyes or something like that like if i was filming without this this could be how i was filming right now so um i <laughs> 
will try to get better and look at the lens more but it's very very weird on this camera to just like think about staring at the lens as opposed to that i just wanted to say that because i know that bothers people and um i apologize if it bothers you if it really makes you that angry when you're like you know it makes you that annoyed you know i guess don't watch don't watch my vlogs i mean i don't know what else to say because i'm gonna try to improve but it's just something that i did want to uh say while i thought about it look at this prestigious sir squirtle walks out of frame I thought you liked being a camera hog. He's like, oh, I do. Guys, he loves the camera. I am also sleepy. I look super red. <laughs> I just put on, I just cleaned off my face and did my moisturizer and stuff. And I feel like my like uh, lighting in my sweater is just making me look all red. But um, I just wanted to say good night and thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited to vlog another day this week. I'm definitely vlogging on Friday because Friday is when I have my meetup and my panel at FitUm. Thank you guys for watching and I look so freaking red. Okay, I'm gonna go um, give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want more vlogs. And look at my thumb, it's like so far back. Goodbye.